Right now we're here with City Councilwoman Desley Brooks. You spoke um, earlier this afternoon and you didn't seem too pleased the fact that art officials had showed up and, and were giving out flowers and everything. Can you elaborate on where you were coming from with respect to that? Um, flowers when somebody's child has been killed a year, a year late. Um, if they had come up with some flowers on January 1st, 2009, it might have been more, um, I don't even know what word to choose, but uh, flowers when your child is killed. And an organization who has at every step battled with the community to do what was right um, is inexcusable and flowers a little, a little too little too late. I thought that was important to remind people because sometimes we get through the passage of time rose-colored looks back uh, down memory lane. Revisionist history. Revisionist history and I think it's important and if you can maybe elaborate on the type of obstacles that you had been getting it because it's almost like they showed up like they were part of this process right. when that really wasn't the case. No, you're absolutely, you're right. When Oscar was killed, this was an organization that went inward and tried to circle the wagons and pretend like nothing had happened. They had no response initially. And it was only when community demanded that they be accountable that they became more entrenched in circling the wagons. They didn't want to have police oversight. They didn't want to change policies. They, they talked about it being inconclusive about what happened despite the video tapes of what had happened. Um, they went to the state to block the legislation of Tom Amiano and, and, and wrote Which a legislation was Tom that? Tom Amiano presented legislation at the state that would have required them to have police oversight. They sent a letter the day before the hearing and, 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 and said, oh, we're, we're going to do one by the end of last year. Is it done? Is it done? And you would stand up here and give flowers to a community, to a family? Oscar Grant isn't the first African-American male who has been shot and killed by BART police who was without any weapon. He is not the first. He is one of several who have met this fate. And to come today was disingenuous. They allowed a public event to take place on a public space today. So they didn't do anything. They gave no money towards this event. Um, and, and so to stand up, they wanted to give words of greeting. Thank you all for coming out today. You know, I watched the news this morning and it talked about how last night on BART, they had the best day in their history in terms of operations. Nobody got killed last night. Nobody got killed last night. And it's not thanks to the people at BART that that happened. It's because of Oscar Grant that that happened. And it's nice that BART came here today and is standing with the family. We wish they would have done that last year on January 1st, because that's the day that they needed to stand with a family and let a family know that it's not okay to kill our children. That's something that's always good. It's and not I think okay if you can speak to, to the fact that uh, for people outside of the Bay, just how this community has come together to really kind of that stand fast because there's been a lot of victories that you talked about that we've had and that's kind of unprecedented all around the country in a case like this and it's only because of community came together and people were vigilant um, the fact that that the police chief left um, they would have allowed that man to stay there had it not been for a community. The fact that they had to hire outside people to come and review their policies and procedures, that would have never happened had a community not come together. And, and, and we, have, we have and hopefully will continue to look at this issue and push for the things that we rightfully should have in the community. Nobody should die because they took public transportation. That's real talk. As we close out, you being a city council member um, and working specifically with the city of Oakland, um, this happened on BART, which is outside of the jurisdiction, so to speak. What has been the attitude with your fellow city council people, with the mayor? How, has, how have they been coalescing around this? 
Um, I'll talk about my colleagues on the council. I don't know about the mayor. Um, they have been supportive, but only supportive in, in verbal support. Um, I haven't seen uh, my colleagues walk the streets. I've been at these rallies. I've, I've talked to people in the community. I've worked behind the scenes to try and see that this change come about with a whole bunch of community people standing right with me and a whole lot of people carrying the water to make this happen. So I'm not saying it did because of me, but I wish that more of my colleagues would have come out earlier and spoke up about this issue because had they, we could have put more political pressure on BART to do what's right. It is still an entrenched organization. Um, quite frankly, Dorothy Dubert needs to be gone. Um, when she's gone, we can truly celebrate the victory because um, it, the real change will come about. They're interested in a PR campaign. This is not about PR. This is about what's right. Right. Wait, we should we be surprised that we didn't see more police organizations speak to this in a way that they said this was unacceptable behavior? That was one thing that always bothered me that we didn't see police come out. Many of us went to the funeral when the four officers were killed, but how many police officers came to Oscar Grant and said this is wrong? You know what, it, it's really unfortunate. I work every day, every day with some very good officers who do more than their job, do a thousand percent. And it is unfortunate in any profession when there's a bad scene, it's a bad scene. It should not be a reflection of a whole group. And, and I don't condone bad anywhere I see it. So if it's a bad officer, let's call it what it is. He does a disservice to the rest of the good officers. And so it's unfortunate that more haven't adopted that. Many, though, in OPD. Um, were trying to hold him accountable and they can't all come out and say that but there were many who 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 rightfully believed that what Nesley did was wrong and and made sure that they did what was right to bring him to the point where he is now and so I commend those officers for the work that they did and and you know everybody has to find their own courage well there you go Desley Brooks we appreciate it councilwoman for the city of Oakland thank you thank you